Taking that ride to nowhere We'll take that ride How's it going guys and welcome back to another video where we are checking out the road to nowhere and I'm not just saying that like you know some weird thing we're going nowhere we're actually going somewhere which on Google is called the road to nowhere now this place was actually used well I say used it was originally built as part of a road joining two parts of the UK however it was never finished and since then it's been used by lots of TV crews to film things like casualty Doctor Who and lots and lots of other things as well which I'll list somewhere in the history of this video. So we're going to go check it out and see what we can find. I've got the drone with me, we'll try and fly that up as well. And uh, yeah, it's somewhere I've wanted to come for a while, it's a really interesting story. Don't know how much there is to see but I think it's kind of cool anyway so we're here and we're going to check it out. I'm on a road to nowhere. <laughs> so we're following Google Maps, man. Basically, there's a footpath here that leads us straight onto the uh, the road to nowhere. But yeah, we've got to follow this path and sort of work our way around. So we've just come off the back end of the, the UK's drought, where we've had like pretty much bans on houses everywhere. Check this out. There's literally. Uh, I'm guessing it would have been a pond at some point, and it's completely dry. But today's actually the first day we've had a decent amount of rain, so there's a little bit of water bomb. Looks gorgeous now, though. Right, guys, so we've just arrived at the very top end of the road to nowhere. Now, I know at the moment it probably doesn't look much. It probably looks like a little car park somewhere, but I promise you, as we go a little bit further down, it will start looking more and more like a motorway, like a real road. But uh, yeah, this is the very, very beginning. Road to Nowhere, a 400 metre stretch of road that was started in the 1970s before the cost of steel suddenly went up and the whole project was temporarily put on hold. The original plan can still be seen on the maps today to join one part of Yate to another, with the use of a carriageway that went over the train tracks and several other pieces of road. But as it is today, it would need a fair amount of work to bring it back up to standard and complete it. Nowadays, it's part of Yate Common and used by the locals to ride bikes, walk dogs and generally just walk along. But it also has another use. For many years now, this stretch of road has been available and regularly used for TV and film projects, such as Casualty, Doctor Who and Broadchurch, because it is genuinely perfect for that use. Many studios spend hundreds of thousands of pounds on fake roads and set pieces, when here in Yate there is one just lying about not doing very much. Most recently, the stretch of road was used for a yet-to-be-named zombie apocalypse film that was filmed in August 2020. Unfortunately, I was unable to find any shots of this, otherwise I would have included them. The road itself isn't much to look at, but for the purposes of filmmaking, it is perfect. With a small amount of set dressing and CGI, the area can be made to look like a huge motorway, a small country lane, or even a coastal road like they did in Broadchurch. Throughout the years, several times people have tried to get the road finished to how it was intended to be in the 1970s, but so far all attempts have fizzled to nothing, and the future of the road is unknown. Alright guys, here we go, we're going over the crest 
and uh, I have just flown the drone a bit so I do actually know what it looks like but this is like, one of the strangest things because it's come to this little place and then find a big old abandoned road and uh, like I said it was a unfinished project from the 1970s but now it's just left here and it's been used so much for like filming and other things but yeah odd isn't it And there's even all the old road markings that we've got. Um, do you reckon these were like here when they originally sort of built it? Do you reckon they've added these on for like the filming and stuff? Possibly. Because I reckon, because I said they never finished it, and that, just looking at the fact that it says a bike lane. Yeah. That, I'm um, 1970s, did they have bike lanes Probably then? Probably not. No. <laughs> but it's two lanes as well, so we've got one this side, obviously two lanes, and the other side is two lanes as well, so it's a proper dual carriageway. I thought there was a bridge, but we did just fly the drone over and we couldn't see a bridge. So maybe they did like a fabrication of it for, I think it was Casualty that filmed that. There'd be like lots of crashes and things. Or maybe they just CGI'd it in, I'm not too sure. So there's even like um, old curbs and stuff here as well. These, I, I mean, you can tell this is like 1970s, can't you? Because this isn't like today's curbs. No. They're much more like squarish and like concrete -y, whereas these are, I don't, they don't even look like concrete unless it's just really old concrete. Don't maintain it either. Well, yeah, I suppose it's not maintained. So we're about halfway down the road now, and there is a bit in the middle here, which looks like the halfway point. Like I was saying, we thought there was a bridge here, and I'm wondering if this bit here is the actual bridge, and they just put it across, and it was like a fabricated bridge or something, not a real one. Because you can see there's like tufts here, and then there isn't any, it's just a flat bit. So I'm wondering if maybe that's where the bridge could have been. Anything. Well, bits of cars and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. They probably. Any casualty crashed an ambulance down here. They did. They crashed like an ambulance and a load of other cars as well. There probably are little bits. I mean, I would assume they'd probably clean up pretty well, but I bet there are bits they've missed, yeah. especially with the brambles and stuff. I mean, this would actually be a great place if you live in the area, if you know where this is, to uh, to come and get blackberries. I mean, look, check this out. There's tons, and they're all the way down here. Bring your kids blackberry picking along a road. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean, it's like, it's not, you can tell it's not new stuff, can't you? That's pretty old. When they crashed the vehicles, they did it this way and not that way, just in case it goes into their roundabout. <laughs> um, I don't know, they're pretty, still pretty far away, aren't they? But again, if they see you a lot, it could be anywhere, really, couldn't it? You can kind of walk behind them with a green screen like that. <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep up with it. Oh. It's funny because it goes to show you exactly how much they can green screen, doesn't it? Because yeah. like looking at like video clips of this, you wouldn't believe it was the same road. You need a green screen, most of the area is green. It's green anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, you couldn't tell by looking at this that this was the same road that they would have used in casualty. Do you reckon this here, because there's obviously damage to the tarmac, do you reckon this is where they had a crash? Yeah, they must have hit the pot, are <laughs> The pot, <laughs> yeah. The council don't come and repair this one. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, look at that. That is definitely where a vehicle... That is a vehicle slide, doesn't it? Look at that, it's big old chunks. I can actually see it on the camera, which is quite nice. I reckon this is probably where the bridge was. Yeah, I think you're right. Because they could just, they could, they could, they could just build, build one, yeah. a bridge and put it there and then remove it after. Yeah, yeah. So we actually, uh, we've changed our mind. We thought originally it was the bit down the other end, but actually we kind of think it might be this bit here because I didn't know this bit was here. Um, this looks like it would make more sense to put some kind of fabricated bridge here. And obviously with the slide marks just down there, I'm sure in the, the clip I saw, um, they were quite close to the bridge itself when they had the crash. So being here right in the middle would actually make a lot of sense. Oh, there we go, yeah, look. There's actually bolt marks. So they were definitely would have had something here that they'd used, and there's a few more over there as well. Yeah. There's one there. there. There's a couple there. So these would have, yeah, definitely would have held something down. Right, so check this out. Uh, we've just seen these, and I was just saying to Anna a minute ago, I'm sure again, in the casualty, I'm going, just going by literally one clip I've seen for a few seconds, so I could be completely wrong. But in the casualty thing, they had like a sort of slip road that 
was veering off to one side and then the ambulance sort of crashed and flipped on the bridge. So this looks very much like that could be that sort of slip road. And like I said, they use CGI as well. So you imagine slip road here coming off somewhere, I'm not sure which way it would have gone. Bridge just there and then maybe had a CGI slip road somewhere. I don't know, but th th this definitely looks like more of a slipway. It's a bit of an odd road marking as well to have, just in the middle of a, a dual carriageway, so it, it does look like it might be sort of something to do with the films. I am gonna try and find as many clips as I can to show you guys um, bits, so you can like, compare it to this. Obviously, some of that stuff can be copyright, so I'll try and uh, use as little as possible, but as much so I can show you without getting copyright flagged. But yeah, it's just cool. I mean, this is, I love filming locations and this is one of those sorts of things. I love abandoned, I love that sort of stuff, but also when it's abandoned and also has something else, like a story behind it, I think it's really cool. And that's definitely one of these places. Where's that arrow pointing? Yeah, well, th this is what I was just saying, because I literally said a minute ago about, I think, because this is the slipway, I reckon, where the ambulance would have come. And I'm sure it went under a bridge and hit something. Yeah, but, but the arrow side of the road we're on. Yeah, exactly. But we I think drive on that side yeah, but of the road. what I think they did, and this is going to sound really super, super yeah. clever. What I think they it's not going to sound too clever at all. What I think they did is they they shot it this way, like this way. Yeah. And then they flipped the image. Oh uh, yeah, you can reverse the image. Yeah. Yeah. So I reckon they've done that and flipped the image, so it looked like the slipway was going that way yeah. instead of that way. Yeah, because I was walking down and I saw it. And I was like. Yeah, because I'm on the right hand side of the road here. So Ant's made the point as well that there's a, an arrow on the floor here, but obviously we're in the UK at the moment and we're on the right hand side of the road and um, we obviously drive on the left. So we'd, we'd be over this side, not, not this side. So like I said, what I think they did is I think this was the slip road and this is where the ambulance crash was and they had the bridge there. And I think they just flipped the image in the editing process to, uh, to make it look like that. But very cool. I mean, like I said, these road markings are very odd as well. You wouldn't yeah. have road markings like this right in the middle of a dual carriageway, would you? No, you wouldn't. Right guys, that is it for that location. Hope you have enjoyed. Pretty cool, like not too much to see, obviously, but yeah, it's a pretty cool with like the, the history and stuff behind it. I've wanted to do it for quite a while, so it's one I've ticked off my list. We're gonna go to the next location now, so I will see you guys in the next video. If you have liked this, please leave a like and a comment down below. Go and check out Ant's channel as well, we linked in the description, and I'll see you next time. See ya.